you've probably heard of oils like rosehip or jojoba, which are derived from botanical ingredients. However, not all facial oils come from natural sources. Some are made from mineral or synthetic oils. However, more natural ingredients in oils can help them absorb deeper into the layers of the skin and provide long-lasting, visible results. I always check the label to find out exactly what's in the oil I'm using. And I really like that the Burt's Bees Complete Nourishment Facial Oil contains rosehip, jojoba and evening primrose oils. That's three of my favourites all blended into one bottle. No two oils are exactly alike, and that means that they also have a variety of different benefits for the skin. For example, the essential fatty acids in rosehip oil make it extra nourishing and ideal for skin that's dry or sun damaged. Meanwhile, evening primrose oil is often used to treat acne and eczema. Understanding the different oils is important if you want to target a specific skin concern. On the other hand, a blended oil is great for maintaining overall skin health it sounds counterintuitive, but the right facial oil can actually be great for helping an oily complexion. Using jojoba oil can help to regulate your skin's own oil production, making it less prone to greasiness during the day. Jojoba also has anti-inflammatory benefits and is great for wound healing, which makes it a hit with many acne sufferers. If you're layering your facial oil with other skincare products, it's important to get the order right. Start with skin that's freshly cleansed and apply any serums that you'd like to use. Follow up with your oil and finish with a moisturising cream. This will help to lock in the nourishment of the oil. I like to wait a minute or two between each step to let the product fully absorb. I can understand why you might think this. They are called facial oils after all, but you definitely shouldn't stop at your face when you're applying them. The delicate skin on your neck and decolletage can also benefit. So extend the oil to your neck and chest using long upward strokes. I also like to pat a drop of oil onto my lips to keep them smooth and rub any excess into dry cuticles. I love a multitasking product, especially one that's good for my skin. In fact, a facial oil can also be applied over makeup as a highlighter. This works best with a lightweight oil and you only need a very small drop. Rub it between your fingertips and then gently pat it onto the areas you want to highlight to get naturally glowy skin. Have you heard any other myths that you'd like us to bust? Let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Beauty Heaven videos.